Hi, it's Circle Nomics. We're back again. Welcome to Circle Nomics. Although circular economy might seem something big that the government should be in control of, or only the big players, but actually we can all have an impact and do our own little bit. Something I did during one of the lockdowns was make my own pop puree. And here it is. Ta-da! I didn't wake up one morning out of the blue and think, my mission today is to research and prepare my own pop puree. It happened in a much more natural way. One of my best friends gifted me some beautiful lilies as a graduation present. I was touched and thought that they thought about me and I wanted to capture a lovely photo of the flowers in my home as a thank you. Just a little note. I then decided I would take a photo every few days and in the end make a little gift, which I can also send. You know, to try to increase the joy of prolonging the experience. Because apparently this is a good tip to improve an elongate happy moment, says Professor Laurie Santos from Yale University. She delivers a free online course on the science of well-being. It was great and there's a link to the course below. As you can imagine, after the first week, the full and lively flowers were now turning dull and lifeless. Then, progressively, the flower tops fell and made a complete mess on my floor. I've been told you have to be careful with the anther, the middle part of the flower that is, as this can stain your clothes and other objects they may come into connection. So in short, I had a danger area in my living room, which was where the lilies were slowly limping to their death. I know it sounds a touch morbid, but here is where the set idea came in. I slowly collected all of the petals, one by one, throwing away any that were damaged, the rest of the flower, that means the stems, leaves, anthers, and anything else, went neatly into the compost recycling bin. The art of pop puree is to dry out the flowers as quickly as possible and for as long as necessary. So you don't want them to burn. If all works out well, with no burnt petals, they should still retain their nice colour, as you can see. And I slowly placed the petals inside, trying to alter the colours while they were going in. So we've got yellow, blue, orange and green. And then the next part was choosing the scent. So I have typical Olbers oil, tea tree oil. But I generally use them for hot water, for face steam, or in my granny radiator humidifiers. So I decided to go all out and treat myself and I bought a rose geranium. The lovely smell, I recommend it. And so I delicately fragranced the flowers with a few drops into the colourful dried lily mix. Now they smell great too. The finale, or let's say the ribbon on the cake, because we're literally talking about a ribbon. This time it was the ribbon that I had around the flowers initially and I used it around the vase to add an extra touch. So, ta-da! With my, my end product, my end pot puree. And in just a few short minutes, what was a beautiful set of flowers, I was able to reuse what might have just been thrown away into the pot puree. Now I'm taking it to another level because I'm going to divide this pot puree and send half to my friend who had given them me in the first place and they get to live on and enrich us both. So to enjoy the delight of fresh flowers for now a nice moment and a touch of served out. Thank you for watching another Circle Nomics video and this time the joy of making your own pot puree at home. I look forward to seeing your own versions and what flowers you choose so please post your photos on our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and don't forget as always to subscribe, comment and like the video. I hope to do more soon and give you some more tips around being a more circonomic type of person. Thank you very much, see you soon, bye bye!